All right, traders, tomorrow's going to be the last trading day of the week. I'm going to prepare you to trade the best setups at the best prices. We're going to be going over the new updated price action analysis for the SPY. This is going to help you in terms of how to determine the key trading levels to be trading out to tomorrow, whether it be buying calls or puts at these key levels. Let's get straight into it. So in terms of the SPY, what ended up happening is once the CPI was released, the SPY ended up bottoming out on the highs of January 9th. You could see right here, this was a key resistance level at this $394 level with very big downside potential. Well, as you know, if SPY breaks above a resistance level and it starts to form a floor at that previous resistance, previous roof, it is then gonna have a big upside move instead of a big downside move, which is what started to occur with the SPY when it bottomed out at that previous resistance level, as you could see right here. The SPY ended up having a gap breakout. We discussed that if this 395.25 level starts breaking out and reacts as a support level, the SPY will start to fill the gap at $399.40. Well, it ended up bottoming at those highs on January 9th. Then it began to break out and have a gap breakout. Then it started to fill the gap, closing fairly strong. With that being said, our two best levels for puts today was at $399.40 in 405 those were our key levels of interest with the puts now you can see right here we did almost fill the gap so that key level that 399.40 level almost filled almost hit that red line there in the pre-market and then the spy began to sell off going from green to red on the day and you can see once that previous closing price starts breaking out forming higher support reacting as support reacting as support reacting as support the SPY starts to break out and have that gap break out to start to fill the gap above. Another clear confirmation for calls is whenever it hit the previous closing price, it's having an overreaction to the, to the downside, it would spike right back off that, going red to green on the day, red to green on the day. So with that being said, what is this telling us? This is telling us that the SPY is really trying to fill that gap. And it's really trying to have um, short-term reversals and micro pullbacks once it is towards that gap fill level. It nearly filled, and it nearly filled multiple times today towards 398, and it had multiple reversals. But it is still holding above that previous closing price, right? So it's like make or break to try to fill this gap, or either sell back off. Now, with that being said, these are going to be the key updated price levels for tomorrow. And this is how you trade the best setups at the best prices heading into tomorrow. So one of our new key levels is going to be $397. We're going to call it the previous closing price of today. So $397 today's closing price. That's going to be make or break. If that cracks and reacts as a resistance level, so say the SPY gaps up, it comes back down, it cracks, reacts as a resistance level, or if SPY gaps down, it pumps back up, goes um, you know, green back to red. If it reacts bearish at this 397 level, then the SPY is going to retest the previous closing price at 395.52. If it cracks below 395.52, then the next overall level and attempt is gonna be this 393 support, It'll likely bounce if it hits is that level. But once it cracks 393, it is nothing but downhill. And that's when you will see a very nice bloodbath in terms of support cracking, right? So as of now, it's reacting as support and the SPY is breaking out and it's still trying to fill that gap. Now, in terms of your upside potential, if you see um, 397 reacting as a support level, I would not try to chase it and try to buy the breakout. I would avoid that situation. What I would do is I would wait for a put opportunity. If you did want to buy calls, I would look for $393. I would not really be looking to buy higher than that. Um, $393 would be a key level to buy the dip if this flips super bearish. But in terms of puts in your best level for puts, say this stays above 397. It's holding above the previous closing price. It's continuing to break out. It breaks above today's highs at that 398.50 level. Your best level for puts to try puts would be 399.40, right? So since we're at such high overall levels for the micro for the short term, um, I'm going to be keeping my main focus on a put option opportunity, but I'm not going to try to fight and trade against the trend. I'm going to focus on the key levels only. So mainly for puts, what I would look for is a move to $399.40. It hits that level, starts forming a roof, starts reacting as a resistance level, look to get in. And then the targets on that would be $398 to $397. 
If it fills that gap and starts bouncing off of today's highs of 398.50, then it's going to start to react bullish. So that'd be make or break, right? These are all meant to be quick scalps. But basically, in terms of the best scalping opportunities, puts at 399.40, puts at 405. Um, our key make or break level is going to be, of course, that 399.40 gap and also this 397 level. So you could say in terms of tomorrow, there's going to be um, there's going to be five levels in total and three are going to be the best ones. So the five levels that I'm going to be watching just to quickly recap are going to be three hundred and ninety nine dollars and forty cents. Um, that would be the main one. Also 405. So there's two right there. 397 is like your make or break middle. I'm also going to be keeping an eye on these two lower levels at 395.55 and $393, right? So in terms of calls, you want to focus on the lower levels on the dips at the support, especially towards 393. In terms of the puts, you're going to want to focus on that 399.40. That'd be that key level. And if you're trying to aim lower, just understand if we go green to red and 397 reacts bearish, it's a quick put scalp to this 395.50 support. Remember, when we enter these trades, we're not trying to predict that SPY or that any stock is going to break above resistance or that it's going to crack below support. So if you're going short, you want to short towards the top or towards that gap that's waiting to fill above, and you want to sell slightly you know before support hits so you don't get squeezed you don't want to try to predict that the support is going to crack and you don't want to try to predict that it's going to start breaking out do not chase do not get terrible entries with puts you need to be focused on major major resistance key resistance only especially with this micro bull trend that has been occurring but just so you understand in terms of where we're at the bulls did manage to um turn that january 9th you know, resistance with big downside potential into a support level. And it started to have the gap breakout and nearly filled the gap. But we've seen many nice quick rejections off of that gap partially filling already, which is a good sign for when we get there, we should start to see a reversal. If not, we get stopped out. If it goes to $400, get stopped out quick. And then we try puts again at 405, right? So those would be the best level for puts. This 397 is make or break. It's a quick scalping opportunity. If it reacts bearish, you can try quick scalp for puts at 395. And then, like I said, in terms of calls, man, keep an eye on 395.50, but your best level that you really want to keep an eye on in terms of 393. So in terms of the best setups at the best prices, in terms of my gap trading strategies and what I teach and what has led to my success, 399.40 gap close reversal. It's already working partially. Um, 397 is a key make or break level. Not 100% the best though because it's at the lower level. Those are the main strategies that what I teach. Those are going to be two key, two key gap fill levels tomorrow. All the other levels are just basic support and resistance. Nothing truly special. I'm going to keep an eye on them, but those are just basic setups. Nothing special about them. The best setups would be at 399.40 and 397, right? So if you see 397 reacting bearish as a resistance, it's a quick scalp for puts. If you see it reacting bullish, it's you got to be careful, man. You got to be careful buying up here, but do not underestimate the bulls as well. Wait to trade the best setups at the best prices. That's my overall thoughts heading into tomorrow. I will see you guys live at Market Open. If you do want to be a part of Trader Society, it's going to be that first link down below in the description. Fridays are known for being my best trading days, and it should be a fairly good day in terms of where we're overall at um, within the market. You know, we are truly approaching a key make or break potential micro reversal level. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see how we react at these levels. And if we hit my key levels, I will definitely be looking to do puts at those key levels. So we're number 397 and 399.40. Those are going to be our top two gap trading levels to be trading out for tomorrow.